Hey guys, it's Anthony and today I just want to tell you about what I personally experienced was it 20 minutes of meditation a day. Now, there's a lot of benefits. It's like med meditation is like a, a drug or like a super drug that you take when <laughs> without any side effects. Like people have said that it improves gray matter, it what it improves focus, helps depression. Apparently I searched up it improves irritable bowel syndrome. And what I wanted to make this video about was what I personally experienced from doing it. You know, I logged in about, what, 65 hours, and that's... Actually, what I use now is this thing right here. So as much as I like using Headspace and Calm before, I just use like a typical timer now. And it's... What it does is it helps me not check my email right away on my phone. Alright, so the first thing I wanted to talk about was... It's like the things that you would experience meditating, but people don't actually put online. And the first thing that I want to talk about was you get this weird, rational, I don't know, this robotic perspective, like an added perspective to yourself. So imagine something like, you know, you're talking to your friend, you know, you're, you're excited, you have an exciting story to tell, you just got promoted at your job, you feel excited. And what I noticed was after meditating for, for like about 60 hours, in total, I get this like weird robot, this weird objective thing. Like imagine this soul-like creature just coming out of you and it's just watching this conversation of you having fun with your friend and it's just chilling up there, you know, watching everything with no emotion at all. And that's what I get. I just get the second perspective of me watching myself being all emotional. And it's really... It's kind, of, it's kind of awesome, but it's kind of weird at the same time. Because now I have two perspectives. So, if, like, let's say my dog is crying. I'm going to be like, oh, what's wrong? What's wrong, Ace? And I'm going to get, like, a, an objective. It's like, oh, my dog is hurt, and now I am feeling worried. That's kind of the stuff I'm talking about. I don't know if it's going to happen to you, but it's happened to me. But th that's what I think people mean when they say that you're able to control your emotions. Because now that... I'm just acting in the moment. I can see myself, you know, being emotionally driven, which makes me have, you know, a better rein on my emotions. Now, the second thing I tested out with meditation was, so I tried doing, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a freaking nap taker. You know, I love naps. I was taking naps in high school, taking naps anywhere in college. I remember I was taking a nap in, where was it? In Texas. And I was just, you know, just, like a, like a sleeping on the, the cement, <laughs> a police officer just came up to me and said, um, are you okay, sir? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay, but I was trying to take a nap here. Anyways, so I wanted to see the difference between taking a nap and how you felt after that and taking, instead of a nap, I did meditation instead. And what I noticed was after taking a 20 minute power nap, you know, you feel a lot more energized, but at the same time you feel groggy. So you get this energized grogginess. Whereas when with meditation, you get this peaceful grogginess. And I'm, ta I'm talking about, this is when you do meditation when you're tired, like during the afternoon. And this peaceful grogginess is like, imagine like you're like a, like a Buddhist monk, all right? And you just, you know, you came out of a waterfall, but you're still tired, but you reach enlightenment. That kind, of, that kind of jazz is what I'm talking about. And what I wanted to say was, when I, when I entered this weird state of mind, I noticed that when I'm doing like creative work, like writing on a blog post or, you know, doing the guitar, I become much more self-reflective. So instead of writing a article where after a nap I'd be like okay I just gotta power through this you know I'm feeling I'm pr feeling pretty good but you know I'm a little tired you get this feeling of why am I writing this blog post who am I writing this blog post for and you get you get these contem contem contemplative you get these thoughts in your head that that influence your writing and makes you much more concerned about the bigger picture of why you're doing this especially with creative work Okay, the third thing I want to talk about was I tried doing meditations in different times of the day, mainly the morning, evening, and afternoon. And what I noticed was when I did it right after I woke up, you know, just right after, like maybe 6 a.m., 7 a.m., you know, some, some days 10 a.m., 
what would happen is I would get this, yeah, I would kind of like fall asleep in the middle of the meditation, but I'm not, it's like that feeling where you're trying to go to sleep, but you can't. And I, I was battling that while I'm trying to, trying to meditate. And after the meditation, I felt like I woke, I woke up a lot better. So you, you know that feeling when you just like brush your teeth after you wake up, you put water on your face where you're still tired, but you're, you're, you're kind of awake. That's kind of what happened to me after meditating when I woke up. And I noticed that it carries on throughout the morning and half of the afternoon where it just kind of wears off. And so then I tried doing it in the afternoon, you know, during that, that groggy state, but maybe before lunch, after lunch, you know, just, just during like 1 to 2 p.m. And what I noticed was that it wasn't that effective for me because even though it did carry on a little bit to the evening, it's just... I don't know, it didn't work for me. But <laughs> there, there is an effect. And then I tried it in the evening, you know, right before I go to sleep or, you know, an hour or two before I go to sleep. And what I noticed was that it, it makes you fall asleep easier, which, which is pretty handy. You know, I think that meditation is like something like the, the state where you are at right before you go to sleep. That's kind of why I think it helped me fall asleep a lot easier. And those are my findings. The fourth thing I wanted to talk about was something about... It, this is pretty obvious, but when you start meditating, you become a lot more mindful of the things around you. Now, this is, this is something you probably feel on pretty early on, but what happens is when you're just walking through, you're going to start paying attention to... it. it it was kind of annoying at first, but now now I'm kind of starting to deal with it. You know, just like the feeling of the sweater on your arm or maybe the wind that passes by your cheeks or something like uh, you, you'll notice that you know, there's a there's a spot on my wall that's that's green. And you just start paying attention to a lot of these these little details in life that after a while, when you, I think it's really nice when you start looking at things like nature, you know, like flowers or something, because you start to appreciate the little things in life. And now that sounds kind of corny, but I think that's kind of true when you start meditating, because in the end, all you're doing is just sitting down doing nothing, just focusing on your breathing, you know, just the little things in life. And of course, the fifth thing that I noticed that improved in my life dr dramatically was that you become a lot better at focus. Now, when I first started meditating, I was like, man, this is, I can't sit down for five minutes. My back is, you know, my back wants to bend over all the time. I just want to, you know, just start thinking about thoughts. There's a lot more being, you know, trapped in your thoughts and just thinking of all the fun things rather than just sitting down and listening to your breathing. And what I noticed was that over time, you know, maybe 10 minutes, I, I still bend my back from time to time, but I'm better at, I think my back strengthened, hopefully. And now I could do 20 minutes, not easily, but I'm, I'm able to be pretty good at it. And I think this helped translate it to my life where now I can do something like two hours of working, or deep work, four hours of deep work, you know, that kind of good stuff where I'm able to put in, be much, I'm able to be much more focused in what I'm doing. So if I'm trying to learn the guitar, instead of just, you know, sometimes it's good to be lost, you know, playing and just having fun, but at the same time, it's that focused effort that helps you improve. And that's what I notice when I do my work, when I'm writing a blog post, creating a YouTube video, or just doing something like, you know, playing the guitar or doing singing practice or something. That's, I think that when you do meditation over time, you start getting better at focusing. And when you get better at focusing at a certain goal, that is going to be a lot faster to achieve that goal. And that's all for meditation. Maybe you learned something new. Maybe it's just a rehash of what you already knew. Let me know in the comments below if you found it new, helpful, whatever. And I'll see you later.